Hello everyone and thanks for tuning into today's second video. We're going to have a look at the weather next 10 to 14 days for today's second video. So day 10 will take us to the 30th of August and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SGFS and ECM ensembles. Maybe we'll enter out a couple of weeks. We'll have a look at CFSB2 at the end of the video for the next uh, four weeks. That gets us into the middle of September and I'll get time back for you in a moment, just say that first video series our six seven UK weather forecast. So please like, share, and subscribe on both of today's vids. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. I'm going to be live with channel members at 7 p.m. Uh, this evening. So if you're a channel member, check into your second August 2025 channel member live stream, and uh, I shall see you then. Looking forward to it. Okay, we've got another calendar reveal. This is our uh, March photo. So congratulations and thank you so much for submitting uh, this uh, photo to Jack Lowe. My good friend Jack submitted uh, this photo. And uh, this is uh, our March 2025. So uh, well done, Jack. Thank you so much, my friend, for submitting the photo. Congratulations and uh, beautiful picture. Of canal very close to uh, me, actually, I think that is in uh, in uh, Stabberton, uh, which is uh, only a few miles down the road from me. Thank you so much, Jack, and congratulations, my friend. We'll have another calendar reveal for April tomorrow. The Gasworth is 2025. 20, 20, 2026 calendar will be going on sale uh, in September. Don't know the exact date yet, but it will be in the earlier part of the month. And uh, all the information on that is still to come. Okay, well, let's begin the video having a look at the National Hurricane Centre. We've got three interest areas. So we've got uh, two orange Xs. That back to one is Disturbance 2 with a 40% chance of cyclone formation. That one is Disturbance 1 with a 60% chance of cyclone formation in the next seven days. So they could both become trouble storms and or hurricanes in the next week or two. And of course, we still have Hurricane Erin uh, knocking around. Erin now giving maximum sustained winds of 100 miles per hour with a minimum of central pressure of 948 millibars. Erin is moving north, northwestwards at 13 miles per hour. Clicking on Erin and going here, we can see that uh, this is no longer predicted to become a major hurricane, but it will be staying as a hurricane through the rest of the working week and into the weekend. And then as it moves out into the Cold, uh, cooler waters of the North Atlantic goes subtropical. If we go to uh, the discussion, we can see that currently giving maximum sustained winds of 100 miles per hour, predicted to power back up to 110, maximum sustained at 24 and 36 hours, but just shy of a Category 3 hurricane, I think. And then weakens and goes back down to 100 miles per hour, 85 miles per hour, and then goes extra tropical, post-tropical, in the 96 to 120 hour time frame. Erin has proved very difficult to predict, very difficult to forecast for the National Hurricane Centre. Um, so I would imagine they will be quite relieved to see the back of this one. <laughs> At one point a couple of days ago, it was predicted to go to up to a Category 5 hurricane with maximum state winds about 160 miles per hour, but I don't think it ever uh, quite achieved that uh, level. Nevertheless, it has been a very powerful and pretty long-lasting storm as well. We'll wait and see what happens um, post Erin. Well, coming back to home, latest wind from that from Earth, Northschool.net, shows high pressure sitting to our uh, north and northwest, and we're bringing in uh, a coolish uh, northeasterly wind uh, today. So, a lot of cloud, and again, quite cool northeasterly winds moving in uh, across particularly southern and eastern areas. The best of the sunshine, or with temperature, probably away into western Scotland and Ireland today. Central temperature is now sitting at 18.2, about 2.5 degrees above 61 to 19.90 average. That is provisional to uh, yesterday to the 19th of August. I expect that to gradually tick down over the next few days as well. 
Meet with GFS upper air temperature and precipitation ensembles next couple of weeks. We're at Birmingham today. The red line is the 30 year upper air temperature average for Birmingham. So it's going off a bit above average with the upper air temperatures at the moment. They're going to be falling to go slightly below average though over the next few days. And then into the bank holiday weekend and next week, finally, the upper air temperatures lifting up. That is as the remains of Hurricane Arium start moving our way into early September. Find the upper air temperatures then uh, reverting back closer to average precipitation. Why comes up dry weather to come up to and into the bank holiday weekend? But it looks like it's going to be turning more and settled with the course of next week. After the bank holiday, could be in some bouts of rain. Again, it is uh, the remains of Hurricane Erin, but it's acting as the trigger for the uh, initial push of uh, rain bands to move in from off the Atlantic. And then further areas of low pressure could follow uh, follow in. Temperature normally it sets five days up to 25th of uh, August. That's bank holiday morning, of course. Below average in the east, a little bit above average further west. 10 to 14 day comes out slightly above average. That gets the 3rd of September. Precipitation anomaly is the next seven days to the 27th of August. Generally drier than normal, but the 8 to 14 day goes wetter than average in the south. So that again indicates. Quite a significant change on the way uh, for the end of August and into the beginning of September. Right, let's start going through the all important chart data. We saw the latest UK met Euro Run. Look a big night on Saturday. High pressure ridging through the country, bringing a lot of dry weather with it. And that high pressure actually sticks around into Bank Holiday weekend as well. So the push of westerlies and the switch to unsettled weather is being pushed back a little bit here by the UK bet. It was indicated a couple of days ago that it would be around Sunday, Monday. That low pressure would start pushing in from off the Atlantic. Now it's uh, been pushed towards uh, Tuesday, Wednesday for that uh, change to more unsettled conditions. I think we will turn unsettled next week, but it may take a couple of days longer than before. Uh, Icon looks like that. Uh, look at Erin just here in the North Atlantic. Looks very vigorous storm still on Saturday. Uh, doesn't it? Well, we go beyond that into Bank Holiday Weekend. High pressure reaching through the west of Europe. Low pressure gradually inching its way in from off the Atlantic. But again, it's on to around the middle of next week when the low pressure starts breaking through. and starts bringing some uh, bands of rain in from off the Atlantic as well. And um, then we've got the KMA looking like this. So high pressure again sticking around, giving a mostly dry Bank Holiday uh, Weekend. Beyond the bank holiday, that's when uh, the remains of Erin breaks through. And that's when we turn unsettled with low pressure taking control of the weather pattern into the beginning of September. We're in a flat westerly flow there. The GFS midnight run again, ridge of high pressure for the bank holiday weekend. Gradually weakens and breaks down Tuesday to Wednesday, allowing low pressure in from off the Atlantic. Through uh, Thursday, Friday, low pressure is in control in the ascendancy, and that takes into the last weekend of August, 30th from 31st of August, with further bouts of rain heading in from off the Atlantic. September begins on an autumnal-looking note, with low pressure north of Scotland bringing quite a strong westerly flow Probably with showers and long spells of rain. Uh, and then beyond that, well, high pressure is starting to ridge through the west of Europe again into the uh, closing frames of GFS um, midnight run. Of course, that's a very long way off, but would be typical that we get back to high pressure quite quickly. I've been wondering in videos this week how quickly are we going to get back to high pressure. No, is this uh, low pressure that we're seeing with the remains of air? Is it a fundamental change or just a temporary change? And the jury is still very much out on that, I think. GFS 6 said again, breaks down that ridge through Tuesday into Wednesday, allowing low pressure come in from off the Atlantic. That will bring showers and long swells of rain in with it back day 10, 30th of August, under trough low pressure. So looking quite mixed and quite unsettled. And further low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic then as we move into the uh, further through the first week of uh, September. That gets to the 5th of September. A little transient ridge building up from southwest, but the next flow downstream will probably flatten that off and keep the unsettled uh, weather and unsettled flow going. Well, if you enjoyed the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks so much everyone for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. 
And don't forget to tell your friends about Gals Rovers and get them to subscribe to Make sure you everyone for doing that. About eight subscribers will get us to 20.5k. So you could give us a That'd be awesome. Thank you so much. Love him so much. Okay, GM. Again, that reach of high pressure. For the Bank Holiday Weekend, King was mainly dry for the Bank Holiday Weekend. Bit of a turn up for the book. See, uh, the high pressure for Ridge breaks down Tuesday to Wednesday, allowing low pressure to come in from off the Atlantic. So we end up around days 8, 9, 10 under trough of low. With showers along the spells of rain and looking quite cool and unsettled. And then the ECM rounds it all off again, a transient ridge through uh, the bank holiday weekend, keeps things mostly dry. That ridge, that high pressure, breaks down around Tuesday to Wednesday, allowing lower pressure to start moving in from off the Atlantic. Days 8, 9, 10, turning increasingly unsettled with low pressure, pushing bouts of rain up from. The south and moving in from the west. Quite cool as well with winds in the northwesterly direction as we come to month's end of the beginning of September. Just signs of a ridge trying to reform again when we get through to the end of the east end run that gets to 4th of September, but there is further low pressure waiting just to the west of the UK and Ireland. So again, the jury's out about whether the high pressure will come back and will turn mostly dry and potentially have another heat wave, who knows, uh, in early September, or whether actually low pressure will uh, be the dominating factor through the first half of the month. Got to wait and see. This is the precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from tometcho.com, up to day 10. So, yeah, it can be lots of dry weather over the next few days. Uh, we get through to the extended. That's when we start seeing those uh, bouts of rain, possibly thunderstorms initially, moving up from the south uh, with that area of low down to the south. That gets the 30th of uh, August when we do look rather unsettled then. These are the options on the table within the ECM ensemble today for day 10 from the Icelandic Met Office. Gets us to the 30th of August. 18 members of the ECM ensemble looking very unsettled under a deep trough of low pressure with a bit of a block around Greenland. So that looks properly, well, unsettled. Uh, 14 with low pressure to the south. That's going to bring wet weather up from the south as well. We've got nine low pressure parts over top of the country. We've got five with low pressure coming in from off the Atlantic. And then we've got five including the control and the operational run. Plus slightly more influence of high pressure up to the northeast with low pressure down to the south. So today's operational ECM run wasn't all that well supported in its pattern by uh, its ensemble. A lot of the Models, uh, a lot of the uh, ensemble members, I should say, uh, within the ECM ensembles were quite a bit more unsettled than the ECM operational run was. That doesn't mean the ECM operational run is wrong, but it just means it wasn't well supported by its ensemble. In two time, these are the options on the table. It gets to the 4th of September. So, 14 members of the ECM ensemble probably bringing some sort of trough through with a ridge down to the southwest. So, that's kind of a westerly type pattern. 12 with low pressure from Scotland to Norway. Again, bringing in a westerly flow. We've got 11 with low pressure just to the west of the UK and Ireland. We've got, ooh, we've got 8 with high pressure ridging up from the southwest. That tried to turn us drier. And then we've got 6 with high pressure to the north of Scotland. Low pressure to the south. Winds will be in from the east. The westest weather with that will be in from the south. So, uh, t uh, day 10, it looks like all the options really are involving uh, low pressure to varying degrees. Um, still looking a bit mixed, I think, actually, at day 14 with most of the options there. CFSB2 finally beats a 500 millibar high tone. It's broken down into week periods. The first week period takes from the 20th of August to the 26th. So high pressure away to the northwest, mostly dry, but bringing in these rather coolish and cloudy northeasterly winds. A uh, big change for week two. It's the 27th of August, 2nd of September. Low pressure uh, sitting right over top of the UK. I'm below average heights, so that looks really quite unsettled. Week three it will be the 3rd to the 9th of September. Low pressure more towards Scandinavia. High pressure down. Ooh, what's happened there? High pressure down uh, towards Spain. And so that's kind of like flat and westerly, I guess. And then uh, week four rounds it off. It's the 10th through to the 16th of September. Two of low pressure away to the northwest, high pressure down towards Spain. Indicating a rather mixed September, I think, there uh, from the CFS. Certainly the first half of the month, anyway, looking quite changeable. 
We'll see. Okay, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Why not drop a comment? Let's know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell friends about guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the show, everyone, for doing that. Tomorrow, we'll have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast, and we'll be a 10 to 14 day as well, of course. I'm live with channel members this evening at 7 p.m. So, if you're a channel member, check in to your second August channel member live stream at 7, and uh, I shall see you there. For this one, that's all for now, and thanks for watching.